Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm currently working on my husband's office makeover and this is part three of three. But in case you missed part two, here's a pretty speedy recap of me pretty much painting endlessly and repurposing my old kitchen cabinet. I'll link the video down below if you guys want to check out the slower version. We're going for like a monochromatic, minimalist-ish design for the home office. And we'll just pick up from where we left off, which is adding handles to the snack cabinet. I found these at Home Depot, which by now is not surprising that I get everything from Home Depot. What I am surprised about is that they don't know my name by now. For the actual snacks, I was just trying to go for like nuts and dried fruits and crackers and just regular snacks that we would normally buy. He just has his own stash. The office space only has one window and I'm just going to add like a simple white shape. Very, very simple. Home Depot did cut it down to size for me. What I really wanted was black, but the options were just white and gray and I figured white to fit the monochromatic theme. had absolutely no idea how to take this desk apart just because of the type of screws that were used to connect each section and hold it together. I need a flashlight. Poppy, he needs a flashlight. This is your turn to shine. He needs a flashlight. Go get the flashlight. So go get <laughs> All right, so this desk is a little difficult to take apart, but my husband and I made a deal. If I go get him lunch, then he'll take apart the desk by himself. So I will accept that deal. I'm really excited about this new desk. I wanted a standing desk that was made right here in the US just because I wanted a US made desk. <laughs> so after a lot, I mean a lot of searching, I landed on this company called ZipDesk. It gives a few options to like customize the standing desk. So I just went with the largest size just to give him the same amount of space as before. This has got to be the least confusing instruction manual I've ever seen. And it's in color with real life picture guys, real life pictures. This was, this was literally made for me. I thought it would be nice to have the option to not sit behind a desk for an entire eight hours, especially since he's currently working from home but I'm pretty sure he'll be going to the office soon. But for right now, he's working from home. We chose to go with the standing desk just because of like physical and health benefits versus him sitting the entire time. <laughs> so now he has the option to stand and get his blood flowing in different areas of his body. He does eventually want to get some of those... Um, tools that you I think you, it's called a balance beam that you stand on and balance I guess and there's also other equipments that can be used with the standing desk which I think is also beneficial so I feel like this was a big win I'm not gonna go into too much details about the desk just because I want to do a separate feature video and like a home office deck setup and tour for you guys. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in that specific video. Okay, I, I don't think I could keep keep up with these instruction manuals right now it's just getting too much for one day and when i get lazy trying to read instructions i end up messing up and let me just say i got a little confused with the instructions so the middle shelf was turned backwards and i didn't notice until i actually pushed the shelf against the wall i'll leave all the products in the description box for you guys i like the thickness of this specific bookshelf that's really what caught my eye
For the bookshelf, I originally wanted, they're called Billy Bookshelves and they're from Ikea. I just wanted an Ikea bookshelf because they're pretty affordable and they look really nice. But they were like completely out of stock in like every single color. So that's how I end up researching and finding this one. This one is from Home Depot as well. It's a really nice bookshelf and um, like I said, I do like the thickness and it's surprisingly really light. I should look what uh, material it's made out of because it's really light but it's still sturdy. To organize the book, I went by subject and then color. Well, they were already organized by subject, if I'm being honest. So I pretty much just transferred them from one shelf to another, but organizing them based on like color. Alright, so my husband's goal is to have like a full-blown meeting in French with his manager whose first language is French. So he just has a French dictionary and he practices online. All right, so the bookcase. He has, he has more books that he wants to add eventually. <laughs> so there is a lot of room for it. I'm still gonna play around with it, make it look a little more tidy. But he has some um, magazine things. And this was actually in our living room. I'm just gonna switch it out and put it in here. All right, so this um, I did a separate video where I went thrifting and this is one of the items that I found so let's see how it fits into place now okay. so I'm gonna try the curly one first of you who decided to go with straight the straight plant has made it into the vase and this is the other piece that i also got when i went thrifting literally just sticking it anywhere that has space fill up some gap so that is it i think it looks okay <laughs> and then now he has like a whole bunch of room to add his books um he doesn't like fluff, he doesn't like fillers, like he, he likes purposefulness. So we're gonna have some blank spaces on the shelf just because he wants to make use of it and not have the core items taking up most of the space. So those will be our two pieces. He did 3D print these and he wants to keep them. So Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the blackboard. This is the blackboard. I found it at the Depot. On the opposite side is actually a whiteboard, which I thought was pretty cool. And it was only like $8 and it's a really nice size. And I'm gonna do like a border around it. Like these, these also got from Home Depot. So I'm gonna do a little something like this. And, but first I'm gonna go ahead and, um, What's it called? Stain these. I'm gonna use this color. This is special walnut. Just because all the other 
wooden furniture is their darker color, so I'm just gonna keep that going. I originally tried using Gorilla Glue to secure the border, but it just, it didn't work. I honestly wish I thought of nailing them first. I would have saved so much time. So that's gonna be the whiteboard, obviously, and, and the chalkboard. I went back to Home Depot last night and just got a different one because he really wants both, and I messed up the back of this one trying to screw it to the wall so now he has two so these are what the edges are looking like so i'm gonna use wood filler and see if i could carve my own like edge unless i just leave it so this is what i'm gonna be using so let's test it out So this is what it looks like. An invisible person. Which is better. Better than how it was before. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of them then. solve this like what are you looking for the shape that is equal distance from a circle a big circle with another circle inside of it after working this out it turns out it's not a circle it's an ellipse okay so the answer s is espino no okay the answer is what was the answer <laughs> it's an ellipse To give that pop of color, my husband designed his own wall decor for the office makeover. He just used inspiration from other pictures online to create his own. I'm trying to learn Photoshop right now so that I can actually explain to you guys what he did. But for now, I'll just... I can't explain a thing, honestly. So I went to Walmart, I printed the thing that my husband created, and here it is. 
I did a canvas just because it was cheaper than printing a picture and buying a frame. So it came out really nice. He did sign it when he created it, but it didn't get printed on here unless it did. Yeah, it's not printed on here, so. I ended up changing both plants. I used a cactus by the window instead just because I know it could withstand the sun. This is just a simple desk setup just to avoid like the clutter. I, I feel like you could focus more when there's just nothing to distract you if you know what i mean unless you like distraction then you know do your thing if you guys have any tips or tricks for cord management please let me know down below if you have a link to share that would be even more awesome because under this this is looking a little wild i tried to hide it as best as i can for the reveal but there's a whole lot going on under this desk and we just need to find a way to control the cords Okay, so here's a little reminder of what the room looked like before, and here it is now. It's calm, it's clean, it's clutter free, and I'm just hoping, just hoping that it continues to stay that way. <laughs> but I am really loving the vibe that this room is giving. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this home office setup and if you want to be extra nice go ahead and hit the subscribe button too i'll meet you guys in the comments see you guys in my next video